What's going on, everybody? Uh, I'm kind of excited for this video because I get to spend units, and that's fun. So the sunspot sales are out, and don't know why I clicked on that, but yeah, we're gonna buy some stuff. Uh, am I the only one that noticed that this was 59 cents or 49 cents to buy? That's crazy. Like, obviously, that's a terrible deal. Like, one crystal and whatever, but still, 49 cents. I mean. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah, so we're going to buy some offers. I don't know what I want to buy yet, so this is going to be like a, a lengthy, like, hold up, wait a minute, video. So I think I can only get to bundle three or tier three, and then I, I'm done unless I buy units. I don't plan on buying units, but, you know, the offers are good, so. And I got money, so. Uh, I guess I'll make more someday, so whatever. So, um, if I buy the first offer, I'm going to have a lot of crystals to open for the end of the month crystal opening that I always do. If I buy the second offer, uh, I'm going to be able to rank 4 my Sigil Witch, which is cool. Uh, she'll be my first rank 3 and rank 4. And then if I buy this, I'll have a good amount of tier 3 or tier 5 class catalyst crystals. And then some of these in the stash, which is always good, and some of these in the stash, which is always good. Um, so I'm kind of conflicted, not sure what I want to buy, but, um, I'll figure something out. I think, honestly, hold on, I'm feeling about buying, like, not during the video, but, like, I feel like, so basically this $10 offer covers, like, two of the, the first deals. 15,000, half of the tier 5, uh, one less tier 2 alpha, and then, so yeah, this covers the, the middle offer, so, they valued, a rank 4 materials at $30 for my progression, and they valued the other two, um, slotted offers at $10, roughly, obviously that's not 100% correct because they're missing a couple tier 5 basics and some tier 5 class catalyst crystals and then as well as some calf crystals which calf crystals are just garbage anyways in my opinion so they're fun to open but they're garbage so when I'm buying these like I'm not buying for the calf I'm buying for the 6 star hero crystals here or the shards and then I'm really not buying for the tier 5 class catalyst shards. I'm buying for the tier 2 alpha and the tier 5 basic. So they've slotted these two bundles, C and A, at $10. And they've slotted this at um, $30. So I think for $30, we're going to go with this. Which is, it, it's not $30. It's 750 units. So I think that was the best bang for my buck right there. Now look at this. 55 stars. No, that's 6 star six stone. Generic. Uh, that's cool. Uh, a 6 star generic awakening gem. Um, what is it? Oh, I thought it was 50,000. Like, oh, just 30. Okay. So, let's go check the store. Uh, hold on, man. Let me go check the store. Okay. So, a full... Um, one of these catalysts is valued at $50. Two of these is valued at around sixty dollars, and then um, there's no other awakening gem, is there? So an awakening gem is valued at a hundred dollars, which is crazy. But there's no six stones anywhere, not that I could see, unless I'm skipping over it. Yeah, so no six stones. So the awakening gem and the six stones. And the rank one, the two gem, it's probably the best deal I could get. Probably, but then I also have over here two class awakening gems, and then a good amount of these rank up gems, and then I'd have I'd have max max all the rank up gems for generic. So um. 
that's nice. I think the middle offer isn't as enticing as these other two. Um, it's just, I think, do I want, like, heroes? Or do I want, like, rank 3 6 stars? And, well, at the moment, I have nothing for gold. Like, I'm drenched on gold. Drenched? That's not the right word. Uh, drained. Yeah. I, like, I have no gold. I have some crystals I can open to get some gold, but I don't know. I feel like I would be better off, potentially, buying the Awakening Gym with the six stones and the one to two gym offer. Um, because, I mean, 50 generic six star six stones is not easy to come by. Mind you, I don't know who I'm going to put them into. My stupid ass is probably going to put them into Sid Witch. So, that's definitely not intelligent to do. But, um, what six stars could I put it into that would actually benefit me? So, and then we'll just sort by sig ability. So, obviously, you can put it in Nick Fury. Um, his sig ability is very good. We know what it does. Wanda's Organized Chaos. It just increases the potency of her Petrify, Armor Break, and Power Sting. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Valkyrie, I think I just got her to the break point where she actually can uh, ignore the Unstoppable and the other stuff ball work so uh obviously max sig she's gonna be at um three ball work effects so give me one second i'm gonna check aunt may and see what the, the deal is with that quick all right so i think i got it up okay there we go so for with valkyrie her break point um to get to like so it's rounded up so i need to get to like Exactly two. So her break point is Sig 126. So if I get 50 Sig stones, it's not gonna put her to 126. Um, but that's okay because I'm not looking to just get her directly to the break point. But at the same time, it would be nice. Um, Odin, I use him for his stuff. I really don't use him for offense. I think he's a cool champ. I think he's really good at what he does. But um, crit resistance buff, like, when am I going to fight somebody that gets a crit resistance buff or an, a resist energy buff and all that, like, I don't know, that doesn't really entice me much, uh, I don't even know what this does, okay, removes ability accuracy, or ability power, okay, whatever, that's nothing I want to invest in, she just naturally sigged like that, Colossus, on the other hand, he's a good champ, um, Protects him from immunity, he has a, a better chance to gain armor buff, and then he has... Oh, you guys can't even see it. What am I doing? Idiot! My teacher used to say that all the time in chemistry class. be like, idiot! So, shout out to, shout out to him. Mr. Roth. Um, so, yeah. So, Colossus would do that, and then Colossus has a chance to convert an expiring armor buff into a permanent one. So... Um, he's at Sig 39 right now, so let me pull up uh, Aunt May again. Uh, let's pull up Colossus so I can figure out where he is. Mutant, right there. So Sig 39, let's put him to Sig 89. Uh, so it'd be 42% chance for each one, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. Can't tell. Those are the green. One's green, one's not green. I wish I could just like drag a little cursor across or whatever. Uh, okay, so I I never understood. So the green is this. Okay, so roughly it'd be around uh around a forty percent chance. We'll say around forty two percent chance to um whatever with armor up so that wouldn't be bad but it wouldn't be good either like it, it really doesn't boost him much um scorpion sense um scorpion gains this wouldn't be bad because he gains the health um from them being prevented healing so science with a scorpion um so 100 percent health um 
So if he goes from 24, he'll go to... Uh, what is that, 54? No, 74. Silly me. So he'll, he'll steal... Or he'll gain back 54%, 54, 54%. So it's over half. Not a lot half, but it's... It's definitely a number. Spider-Gwen, no. Doctor Doom, well, we know what he does, but whatever. Super Skrull. Um, gains a power gain buff, granting... Whatever. It's probably better, but I don't know. Uh, Sex Force Deadpool. Um, okay. Modok, not really interested in Modok. Iron Fist, not really interested in him. Not really interested. So, yeah. I mean, obviously, I get the rank up gem with the bundle. But. Or not the rank up gem, the awakening gem, so I can put it in any of my champs. But, um. I gotta get better at swapping between things. Transition. So I, th I think the Six Star Nexus Hero Crystal would be the better bundle. But how many? I have, what, three of these and five of those. So I'd be at six tier three alphas and four tier six basics. I'm not sure really what I could do with that um, besides have enough for enough tier 3 alphas for two rank 4s and then be missing out on two tier 6 basic catalysts um it's just tricky guys because I'm only getting one shot at this not like some people who have like millions of units and they're just like bye 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 you know so um but I think I'm gonna go with the six star Nexus Hero Crystals. Just because the rank up gems aren't that enticing and I have some catalysts expiring that I would like to use. Um I've never really had a shortage of six star catalysts. So I'd like to use like obviously in the future I'm gonna be like, well I really wish I would use a rank up gems, but like for the time being I think the Bundle A would be better, if that makes any sense. So, we're going to go with Bundle A. And I'm going to f forget Bundle C. So, let's go Bundle A. Now, here's a here's a nice nice option. Uh, 2 to 3 or 3 to 4 generic gem, which is really cool. I have enough... Get out of here. Okay, I do have enough um, units, surprisingly. So I get a 2022 champion selector. So this could be anybody here except Jessica Jones, even though technically she was in 2022. But we're not going to get to the basic that. If I get this, I have 156 stones. Wow, you can have 125 of those. 125 times 50 is uh, 525. Add a zero. 5,250. That's a lot of six stones you could put into somebody. But, um, so yeah. Um, or I could get a 20, I could get two 2021 selectors for champs. And I think I would go with <laughs> Hercules. No, probably not, to be honest. Hercules is overpowered. No, I probably would go with Hercules, to be honest. Or anti venom so I could duplicate. That'd be kind of nice. Or Kitty or something. Like, that's a great, great thing. You get four six-star champs guaranteed out of this bundle right here. But you miss out on so many other stuff that's so good. Okay, I think we're going to throw this bundle in the trash. Bundle A, no thanks. It's good, it's great, but it's not my style right now. Um, bundle 2 is very enticing because I have I already have two generic awakening gems that I could use on anybody and then I have uh, plus 50 signature stones that I could use on anybody as well and then I would have enough for the okay I lied 
if I were to get the other bundle, I would have had enough for the um, two rank four champs with catalysts. And then I would have had, um, and then some with the tier three alpha. And then I would have been able to took up these people, but I get a 2021 and a 2020, which I don't even know who's in the 2020. But if I'm being honest, for the 2020, let me look. It would either have to be I-Bomb, CGR, or APOC. Because then I wouldn't have to touch my 5-star APOC. That is such a good bundle. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you miss out on like all of this juicy stuff right here. But then I also get 7-star Hero Shards, so that it put me only 2,700 shards away from getting... Seven star. And that would be cool. That would be very cool. Yeah, I don't know. This is tricky. Very, very, very tricky. And then depending on what bundle um bundle four has or tier four has to offer, like I might just scoop that one up too, because I have no idea what the bundle is. Um I think I saw somewhere what it was, but I didn't pay attention. I like being surprised. And this is a bad surprise because I can't make up my mind. Holy moly. I mean, I have two days, but I don't want to wait two days. Ooh, this is tricky. Okay. Tier 3 is out of here. Tier or no, Tier 3. Bundle A is out of here. Um... With bundle B, I could select the champ, awaken the champ, take them to SIG 101, and then also more than likely, like one of those, and I know I have one of the one, the twos, I could easily take somebody to rank four from last year. Is there anybody that I'd like to do that with that, like, I personally have a good feel of how to fight with? Like, Toad, don't know how to fight with him. Storm, no. He'd be a duplicate anyways. Um, I have a good understanding of Captain, or Omega Sentinel. I'd love to take Captain Britain all the way, but my 5-star would be obsolete then, but that's okay. Black Cat never used her. Scorpion would be duplicated. Rintra is really good, but I don't know how to use him. And I guess would be a good idea to you, like, I don't know. I, sound, I probably sound like a jackass right now. I'm like, oh, I don't want to use this champ because I don't want to use it. But, like, I don't know. I'm weird, so. You just got to bear with me. Wong. I don't know how to use him. Hulkling. He's really good, and I have a good understanding of how to use him. And I don't have one that I use, but I've seen videos, and I'm like, okay, this doesn't seem to work. Wiccan, no idea. That could be a dupe. Gore would be really good. Just because he does a lot of dot damage. Gallon would also be very good. Because Gallon's super overpowered. Quicksilver, wouldn't that be a dupe? Yes, it would. Titania, not really enticing. Iron Man Infamous, a lot of power drain. Uh, Spider-Man Supreme. Would be really annoying on Battlegrounds defense. Spot, uh, another annoying Battleground defense. Shuri, another annoying Battleground defense. Uh, Atuma, not sure. Mantis, not sure. Okay, let's look at this. this. Let's look at it this way. From the champion aspect, Bundle C has a better output of champions. Because you got four six stars guaranteed, and then one fifth of a seven star. 20% of a 7 star, which is pretty good. For the rank up materials, I would also have to give the nod to tier 3, or remember, bundle C, because um, I would be forced to use a 2-3 to three rank up gem. As here, um, they would kind of just sit in the overflow, and not really, they would just sit in my inventory and not bother me much. 
and then this has no awakening gym power except for if I you know, decide to hey I have a, I want a six star CGR I'll pick him twice or something. But here I have a chance of getting a hundred sig stones, a hundred sig level, hundred and one. Um, I'm a sucker for sig stones, but I think bundle C probably the best option. And I have no idea who I would pick in the slightest for either either pool. I have no idea. I want to pick new champs that I don't have. But, like, if I could get, like, a dupe on the champ, that'd be even better, you know? Shang-Chi's good. Mr. Negative's good. Purgatory, I don't know. Overseer is really good. Don't know how to use him, though. Hercules. I mean. Is good, but I don't. I mean. He's, I mean, he's just. He's so. He's too good. And that's boring. America Chavez. I guess I have one. Spray 99 is cool. Penny's cool. Kitty Pride, I think, is very overpowered as well. I got a 5 star Nimrod, but I did skip out on Nimrod that one time, so maybe it would be a redemption. Potentially. Uh, Anti Venom would be cool. Null would be great because Null's good. Cersei, whatever. I already have one. Icarus, I don't know how to use him. And then Craven, um, just be because of the root. But I get, I get two of these. And then 2020, I'm guaranteed, I'm, I know I'm going to be picking. Immortal Abomination, and I know I'd be putting a, a like I'd, I'd be putting my uh, science gem into him because I just I think Immortal Abomination is that good, and I have a good I I like the champ. He was one of my first four stars that ranked up, and he really helped me get through content. So it'd be really nice to have him back as a as a top champ. Um. Cosmic Ghost Rider is really good. I've never really actually used him, but I've seen videos. It's really nice. Apocalypse, just the synergy with Cable is nice. Um, Sasquatch is cool because that extra damage that BG put out. Shit Monkey. Yeah, I mean, it's Shit Monkey. Guardian's good. I mean, she'd be nice. I think. I know what I want. I know what I want. Okay, we're going bundle tier tier three. I hope it gives me the 2020 selector first, but it gives me 2021, I guess. Um, I guess I'll pick somebody. So let's grab that. Okay. It doesn't give me. It gives me 2021, which is okay. So, we're cutting out all the duplicate options, I think. So no strife, no super scroll, no Odin. No. Where is he? No Omega Chavez. No, no, no. <gasps> Whatever. No Anti Venom. I think Null would be very cool to have. I don't know if he's worth a gem, but um, actually, this is a tough decision because life is hard. But yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go Null. I really wish I could. I should have opened the six star nexuses first. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Null it is. We're picking Null for that one. And then I think I might go Shang-Chi. Because I don't really know how to use Shang-Chi. But I've, I have a four star that I use once in a while in Arena. And I think the, the changing of the combos is fun. So, yeah, we're going Shang-Chi. And for all the haters out there, it's like, you should have picked Hercules. I probably should have, but whatever. Okay, guaranteed eye bomb. And then... It's it's tough. I, I want to pick CGR, but I already have Null. And it's not like 
it's not like those two are on the same level of comparison. Like, there's different, different differences and definite uses for each one. This TGR is just gonna blow through stuff. Um, I think APOC might actually be the move. Cause like, hey, it's APOC, man. Like, yeah, but damn it, I don't know. I'm looking at all the other champs and I'm like, eh, just, nobody is as enticing as APOC or um, APOC or CGR. Maybe I'll just say fuck it and go with Airwalker. Wouldn't that be nice? Wait, don't I have an Airwalker? No, I'm not going with him then. Never mind. Hydra? Um, oh, this is tricky guys this is really tricky make sure you plan what you want to do before you do it I always make these videos so damn long also, so I'm so sorry that this video is going to be like 30 minutes um, if you have to sit through it all I'm sorry but whatever I, th I think I go APOC here APOC's just good and then you've got the synergies and you could horseman people up in quests. I'm gonna regret this decision. I really want CGR, but I think I think APOC will be more used for like questing purposes. CGRs. Eh, it's so hard. I'm going. I'm just gonna click it. Apocalypse is. There we go. Works for me. Now what's this offer? Past era. You, you, oh my god. Well, I don't care about 2019. So. Well, maybe I do. Who's in 2019? Isn't this the Sinister, the Fantastic Four people? Yeah, but. No thanks. So, yeah, this off. I mean, obviously, I might pick up the offer just with the extra stuff, but. Because, I mean, 3,000? It put me at a 7 star hero, so. <laughs> But I'm at 729 units. So, and I got four new champs. That's cool. Um, so, yeah. I think that's the video, guys. I will post a second video if I decide to purchase um, any, any of the unit offers that put me past the threshold of obtaining the next offer. But everything, everything in the video, um, like anything that, like the, the six star stuff or whatever, I think I'm gonna open in the next video. This is my first time getting Paragon crystals, also. This is nice. Um, and I would literally only be buying like the second offer just for the six star Kang, which is a stupid idea. But I mean, whatever. We all make stupid ideas. And then yeah, Weapon X, whatever. Whatever. Like I'd have to spend a lot of money to get that, so uh, I'm thinking it's a no go. Maybe a maybe a go on the six star tank, but other than that, no go. So yeah, this will be the video. Thank you for tuning in if you tuned in all the way, because that was a lengthy video, so I apologize. Um, I should apologize more because most of my videos are 30 minutes and I don't edit them down. So, but appreciate you guys for watching. Comment what you guys bought or picked up or whatever, because I like hearing. Uh, what y'all did and let me know how big of a mistake I made because I, I guarantee you I made a mistake somewhere but thank you very much for watching make sure to like subscribe comment share um, yeah see you guys